It's no surprise that social media has become part of everyday life in the American West. Some people wake up and check their smartphones before even making the morning coffee. But what is surprising is how quickly smartphones have catapulted rural Americans over the digital divide. Hello, I'm Ryan Bell, editor-at-large for Western Horseman. This year, I'm writing a new department for the magazine called Equine Insider. Each month, I take an in-depth look at some issue affecting the horse industry. For the March edition, available on newsstands now, I wrote the story Phone on the Range, where I spoke with three horsemen who use social media in different ways to connect with the world around them. As you can see this little guy, he's not feeling very good. Uh, he felt great this morning. I didn't see anything this morning that was uh, doing very bad, but it's hard to tell. It could have been loco weed. It could have been numerous things that got him this way. The video footage posted on Facebook bobbed to the rhythm of a walking horse. Dusty McDaniel, a cowboy in New Mexico, aimed his smartphone at the ground where a sickly calf was starting to lay down. You can hear McDaniel narrating off screen. Uh, once I get him roped, uh, I'll come back live. And uh, I want you all to see that uh, out here, it doesn't matter what our plans are, whether it's Easter or Christmas or anything else. This is our life, and uh, this is what we do. Uh, we'll get an update here in just a minute. Later, McDaniel posted two more Facebook Live videos. One showed his sorrel gilding, Kit, holding a riata taut, while McDaniel gave the calf an injection. Got Kit here. Holding this calf, I want to get him doctored real fast. Uh, I don't want him to sit here on the ground any longer than he has to. We're going to give him a little medicine here, make him feel a little better. Hopefully. He don't feel good. He don't want to cooperate. Who can blame him? Really, you know? I don't want to cooperate when I don't feel good neither. But uh, a little dose of Drax in here. Hopefully it'll make him feel a little better. At one point, McDaniel turns his smartphone and looks into the camera explaining why he was sharing the episode from his life on the internet. I guess I just want people to know that we do care out here about our livestock. We're out here every day with them. When things come up, we stop what we're doing, just like if they were one of our kids. So I'd like to uh, thank Kit here for holding this calf for me. Uh, he's doing a good job. Uh, we don't abuse these cattle, and uh, we absolutely love our job. And we'll do anything for him. I guess sometimes it seems like people don't get to see this and understand. And uh, I dang sure wanted to make sure people did. While smartphones have bridged the digital divide, social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter are helping span another rift afflicting U.S. society, a cultural divide between urban and rural Americans. To learn more about the innovative ways cowboys are using social media to connect with the world around them, pick up the March issue of Western Horsemen. Thanks for listening, and since St. Patrick's Day is nigh, may the trail rise to meet you and the wind be always at your back. Yeah.